Hi, it's Nancy welcoming you to Garden Scroll. It has been so hot that look, these little ones just crisped up before they even got a chance to open the garden and I have not really recuperated or recovered from our little trip or my little trip away from it and but this one has it's picked up pretty well and so that's great but there's lots of places that actually they went ahead and died But I am seeing some beauty this morning out here. Just right after I watered last night, they you could tell they really loved it. They were so glad they were getting some water. The little plants were. And uh, all the birds around come down to enjoy that water too. But it was just all wilty and, and crisping, more than wilty. A lot of it just crisped up. So it's sad to see it doing that but that's summer but look the hibiscus bloomed this is the pink ruffled carolina hibiscus some of the zinnias are trying to bloom this little hibiscus is copper king and it's blooming this morning too I don't know if these have much of a chance though because I saw so many grasshoppers out here yesterday when I was watering. The crepe myrtles are in pretty much full bloom and I saw that I do have a little cardinal uh, pear. I don't know if I can show you their nest and I'm not going to get too close to it. Um, I can't even tell if I'm getting it there. I hope I am. But there is one in there. I think my idea of putting a little pot of the yellow coreopsis in with the blue catnip or nepeta was a good one although my my nepeta is at the point where it's been shorn or cut back so um but i think it still gives the idea of how this could look and i know my lawn is practically burned up and I'm, pre I'm almost afraid to go ahead and water it because that seems to just bring the voles and moles and gophers. I've even got gopher mounds in the back where I've watered. And also it brings armadillos and they root things up and just destroy things. The last time we went to the hospital, uh, these they have people to paint them and then they, you get to take one home if you would like. So I picked this one out. I've been thinking about doing that, but I finally just decided I'm going to go ahead and get one of those and, and just put it somewhere in the garden. This Creeping Jenny had done so well, I wasn't even worried about it. But I should have been, I guess. Because... It didn't come back. It crisped up in places. You can see some of this little pot is gone. And all of this one, everything in this little pot just crisped up. And I will have to replace this, but I'll probably wait now until fall or close to fall when hopefully we'll have some cooler weather because it's just torturous to be out in the heat. These little Menarda get quite a bit of water from the from my makeshift 
soaker hoses. So they look much better than the ones in the back. The ones in the back look like they're completely dying out. But most likely they will, uh, the root will still be there and come back next year. So look at this lovely little pot where the, the black blister beetles just stripped it down. I'm pretty sure they were going to go right over here next, but I did spray this morning just a little, just on the things that they were destroying. And yesterday I was kind of proud of myself because I found two more little white impatients to put in here on a 75% off sale because everybody wants to get rid of the little plants because it is so hot, it's so miserable. The little plants are miserable. The gardeners are miserable. <laughs> and so, and then I had my water hoses going and you know how they get really good and too good in some spots and not anything at all in others. But anyway, this thing, uh, it just got too soggy and I didn't have this anchored well so I heard this tremendous <laughs> and there it was on the ground and it's very heavy I had to get my husband to help me we put it back up on here and then I walked away from it and we knew it was precariously sitting there and I didn't get very far my husband got all the way in the house <laughs> but he was safe for a little while but when it made that same noise again I recognized it and came out and this time I dug a hole I got the uh, gravel and put in it I did it in the dark literally in the dark <laughs> and so I asked him to come in I said Houston we have a problem and so he came out and helped me put it back up on here but I see it did it did stay up this time and you can tell it's anchored better so I hope it's enough to last. You might also notice that the little uh, garden art that was in here is gone because of course it, it broke a little bit the first time it fell and quite a bit more the second time it fell. So you know these, these hot days are they're just very very hard. Not only are they too hot to be out here and enjoy it but all these miserable things keep happening that you keep ha having to deal with. But I'm glad we went ahead and did it. And I'm glad I did it in the dark. It's better to do it in the dark when it's semi-cool than in the heat like it is right now. Just so oppressive that I could not have done this. But anyway, we got it back in order somewhat. And I'm going to try to get the little garden art back in it at some point. And I think this little one, my pretty little polka dot begonia, needs to be repotted. It's rising up out of its, its root is coming up. And I think it, it may need a bigger pot or it may just need to be settled down in there a little bit more. So when I get a chance, I'll try to do that too. And I know that my weeping willow needs to be cut back if I want to keep it a canopy and I do I don't want it hanging down where you can't even see what's underneath it and I still think it's pretty as a canopy it doesn't have to be all the way to the ground for me to think it's pretty and then of course this little wisteria that I keep threatening to get rid of because it never blooms because I'm always having to cut it back because it does this thing where it just gets overgrown and all over the place but at least I do need to trim it down it is pretty when you have just a pretty little mound there on the top of it but it doesn't stay that way long before it's ready for another another haircut and um, it's a lot of work to do especially in the heat but even with all the bad stuff going on there's still some pretty color the flowers just don't give up I want to be like them I don't want to give up either I still have things that I want to do 
in this life if the Lord will allow me to do it and hopefully to do it for his glory and this is another little item that fell off and broke but I did glue it together and I am fixing to go in or to find me some foam filler and fill this up because I know the thing it will be good for is for wasps or ants to make their homes in so I'm going to fill this up before I hang it back up but some of the beauty in the heat are the lilies these are the tree lilies that grow quite tall and another thing I did yesterday was to tie this one to the fence and tie some of the others up to a stake or something near enough to them where they would hold them up so they can have their time to shine these are some more of the tree lilies that I need still to tie up I gave up on these after this was after our crash <laughs> from the little strawberry pot with the white impatience in it I kind of gave up but I'll try to get this done tonight when I come out and water and I put this little purple heart out here where it gets more shade and so I'm hoping that it will do better it's just struggling to come out of it this year when usually by now it feels like anyway these are usually uh, just full of pretty purple foliage but I think it still will do it if we can just get through this really hot spell but of course it's today is June the 28th and so you know there's a lot of hot weather to go possibly most likely so I really hate this foam filler job too because it's just such a mess but these are not going back together without some help and this one is just like the little heart that I showed you because it's got holes all in it and they will definitely be holes that the insects will fill up if I don't fill them up first and I'm hoping I can get this little girl back up here and that she won't look too bad to sit out in the garden she couldn't look much worse than some of us gardeners myself the top one out in this garden but look this is one of the ones that i uh, i already had tied it to this little pole which didn't do hardly anything so i put the string up to this bird house pole and just let her raise her little head a little bit where she's much more proud and my tiger eye or tiger lilies are blooming I looked at the last little scraggly looking plants yesterday because I thought I might find another one of these cascading artemisia I just love them and the one that I put in the ground are, is the one that the snails ate. They just would not leave it alone until they had killed it. I didn't find another one, but hopefully they'll come back even in the pots that I put them in. And I would like to go ahead and put this little Coryopsis, this pretty yellow Coryopsis, in a different pot because I'll want to bring in all of my clay pots because they don't fare well through the winter months. When they get cold and hot and hot and then cold again they will just go ahead and crack and break. But I love them because things seem to live in them the house plants do for me much better than they do in the other pots and when it comes to house plants I need all the help I can get these little plants just wilt down like crazy just like I do <laughs> through the day and that old hot wind is so bad on them 
but they're so welcoming me when I come out here they want to see me I'm sure of it and they respond so wonderfully so it's like oh good we're gonna get to sleep good she's out here with the water This is one of the little pots that just wilted down terribly, but it did not crisp up, and it is, it has come back and just stood to attention and is looking great. And I'm so glad I got a second chance for the little uh, plants that I put in this pot. So they're looking good and I'm proud of them even though I don't know if I told you but when I went to my I did go to my uh, family reunion that my cousin got set up and it was great it was it was good to be there even though I did lose plants for doing it but uh, one thing I was what I was gonna say is I'll have to show you some of hers oh my goodness they were so beautiful so full so lush and just so beautiful I, even the pictures that I got didn't do them justice and she had a couple of pictures that she put on which were better than mine so I'll use those <laughs> but uh, it was it was worth being there and just you know family is everything uh, outside of the Lord and uh, he's first of course he should always be first in our hearts and lives but but by putting him first that just makes them all the more important. There's an old song that uh, I used to hear sang, and it was, it had some of the words that, you know, until you've known the loving hand of God, you've, you don't know anything or anyone until you've known that love, and that's the way it is, and that His love just helps us to love the other people in our lives but these poor little um, creeping Jenny they did not come out of it they will not come out of it they were also in this spot and the tall flocks are looking good also, but they also have that hazy look like they're struggling. And right on the other side of the tall flocks, there's also a pretty purple crepe myrtle. Do you remember when I started these for my sister and my my sister slash friend or I guess friend slash sister <laughs> that look it that was actually June the 22nd when I started them and you can tell that they have got their little root it's at least building because these have stood up and they're they're not looking great though but they still have an, a little bit more time uh, before my before Kathy and Susie get here and I hope that they'll be looking so good that they'll be proud to take them actually yesterday just yesterday they looked so wilty down I wasn't sure and they still have their little heads hanging down somewhat but they have also definitely stood back up on their own and are giving me hope that they will look good I'm so hoping they do enough that they'll be proud to take them home These are the double 
cosmos and this is the yellow nifofia and this little tree lily our lily tree scorched before it ever really looks good look at that one but i'm thinking that this one has fared better and is looking great so i just went ahead and took those old ones off and now we just have this pretty one showing and i did get my uh wisteria trimmed back which looks so much neater than it did as well as the weeping willow this lovely little plant is rudbeckia bicolor i so love it uh, i got several uh, not this one but i got several different rudbeckias and this and i thought they all either died or were looking so terrible but then i saw this so i got one out of those that i planted but i have one had one that died right away it was called toto and i want to try that one again too it looked like it would be a beauty also please be sure to like and to subscribe to the channel